when it comes to uh, the questionnaire itself, um, there are some concerns that um, we do have uh, in order to, pro to proceed with the inadequate and uh, indeed comprehensive uh, analysis uh, of this problem. Uh, I think from our perspective, indeed, uh, from a consumer perspective, uh, the main issue we see is that uh, there are a lot of uh, concerns that we've raised in our preliminary assessment uh, that we released in the December 2022 regarding uh, this issue. Um, that, in fact, we failed to see reflected uh, in this questionnaire. Um, indeed, at the time, we have uh, warned about um, the consideration of this um, of this measure should it go ahead, um, coming from this um, so-called fair share rationale, um, could have significant uh, impact um, when it comes to um, red lines for consumers such as net neutrality uh, or competition, fair competition in the telecom and digital markets. And um, even though there is indeed a, a section that approaches um, the issues from a consumer side, uh, it does feel to us that um, these concerns that we put forward um, haven't been really addressed. Um, and to add on this, I think there's also uh, an acknowledgement from a broad uh, coalition of stakeholders that um, this consultation is indeed very much focused on um, this very much uh, one side of the debate, which is between big tech and telco, uh, and doesn't leave a lot of room, or not as much as it should, to um, to the rest of stakeholders that are directly affected uh, by such a, such a consideration, and that of course includes naturally uh, consumers.